Hello, today we're here in the beautiful city of Edinburgh and more specifically I'm at Arthur's Seat and I'm going to be doing a little bit of training. Now if you're just getting into running, particularly distance running or you feel like you've hit a plateau with your current running and you can't improve your pace at all then keep watching and find out how we can improve it. So many people who train for an event such as a half marathon or a full marathon think that they just need to run and increase the distance every time. So while this will improve cardiovascular fitness, it's not very effective at increasing your pace. Now to increase your pace, you need to train the muscles directly with things like squats, um, the weight sledges, leg press, deadlifts, things like that. And one other way, which is great, if you don't have access to a gym is the much loved or not hill sprint so let me know if you've done hill sprints uh, do you like them do you not hill sprints are fantastic because they're free you just need to find a hill so we've got a very good one here at arthur's seat and um, they're also very good because they strengthen your glutes your hamstrings your quads your calves which are muscles that are required for running it improves, improves your running form because your knees are pumping up high to get up the hill so when I do this video have a watch watch my knees and see how how that goes this translates into your normal running form it also improves um, foot strike stride rate it increases the power in each stride that you take so every step that you then take propels you further so it needs less energy and it makes you a more efficient runner and it means you can run faster and you can do so by using less energy so it's an absolute win-win and finally, it will also help to increase your stamina. So if you're training for a race or you're just wanting to improve your uh, running pace, then get some hill sprints into your training schedule quickly because they're very good. So the plan for today, I'm going to go for a little warm up run um, just around the kind of bottom and up a little bit of Arthur's seat. Uh, I'm then going to find a nice bit of hill. Um, there's lots of ways of doing hill sprints. Um, the one I'm going to do is about 15 seconds at full intensity, so about maybe or 95%. Up a hill, I'm going to then turn around and walk back down it for about 2 minutes and have a little rest and then I'm going to go again and I think I'll do that about 8 to 10 times and then I will probably be knackered. <laughs> um, there is loads of other ways of doing it but this is the way that I'm going to do today. So I'm going to go for a little warm up run now, I'll see you in a minute. Right, so I'm off for a warm up run, get the muscles all nice and warm for doing the hill sprints. I'll make do that 10 15 minutes and then we'll make our way up the hill. I should also add if you watched my Edinburgh Half Marathon video This would have been part of it Going past Arthur's seat I've almost done a warm up Just running around this wee bit of water And then Get ahead to Arthur's seat Start making our way and finding a good hill So the good thing about hill sprints, the fitter you get, stronger you get, the steeper the hill you can go. So you can start off with a more gradual hill and then build yourself up. So something like this, there's always going to be somewhere that's going to benefit people. Right, suitably warmed up, I found myself a good hill, it's a lot quieter. Uh, I never actually thought a few days before the fringe starts it's going to be quite busy so I've located a good hill up there and what I'm going to do 15 second sprint up that hill walk back down 
two minute rest and do that about eight to ten times see how I get on I will also add that anybody in the central Scotland area this is a beautiful place to do a wee bit of exercise a nice view over there of Edinburgh and I believe that over there is Easter Road so Hibs football team that's their stadium and yeah really nice place let's get going Number one done. So this time, for the second one, I'll put the camera halfway up and watch how my knees drive me up and think about how that would progress into your normal running on flat surfaces. Really, really beneficial. Let's go, number two. Number three. Having done, it gets tough. You can feel it in your legs. So another two minute break, and then three more to go, and then we're done. <laughs> Number 10, let's go. There you go, that's Hill Sprints done. So if you like that, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Uh, the good thing about Hill Sprints, you can make them as hard or easy as you like. So you can have a, a steeper or kind of less inclined hill to make it more or less intense. You can do longer sprints, shorter sprints, depending on the how steep your, your hill is. And like I said, the really top thing I like about this has been out in the fresh air in a beautiful place like Arthur's Seat in Edinburgh you can't beat that it's a lot better than running on a treadmill in a gym I'll tell you that so hope you found this useful please let me know how you get on if you decide to do some hill sprints into your routine cheers